You can learn anything, anywhere. You can listen to the podcast on the way. You can take the courses from the greatest minds without leaving your home. You can find the answers to any questions with a single search. You have a choice every single day to be better or to be the same. Thank you so much for choosing a better way of learning and it will be very helpful if you follow this video right till the end. And the topic today is from tests of hypothesis, large samples of statistics. See here, there are usually four types of tests. Under the large samples, we see the four important tests to test the significance. Testing of significance for single proportion, difference of proportions, single mean and difference of means. There are four types here. So here in my previous videos, I have already taught about the testing of significance for a single mean. And in today's video, the most important, the testing of significance for difference of means, which I am going to teach you. See here, as usual, the working rule for testing of the equality of the two means, large samples. Test of significance of difference of means of uh, two large samples here. As usual, there are five steps here in the working rule. The first one is the null hypothesis. So in the null hypothesis, as there are two means, let x1 bar and x2 bar be the sample means of the two independent large random samples. Sizes n1 and n2 drawn from the two populations having the means mu1 and mu2 and the standard deviations are sigma1 and sigma2. There are two standard deviations, two means. See here, two sample sizes. So everything is uh, double. To test whether the two population means are equal, see here, first one is null hypothesis. In null hypothesis, we have to assume that mu1 is equal to mu2. In the alternate hypothesis, we have to choose the alternate statement that is mu1 not equal to mu2. And the next one is level of significance. In the level of significance, usually it will be 1%, 10%, 5%. So it depends upon the problem. So if it's not mentioned in the problem, you have to choose 5% level of significance and the next one is test statistics see here in the test statistics if they are equal means mu1 equal to mu2 then this will be the formula that is z is equal to x1 bar see here this is the most important formula there are two means that is x1 bar minus x2 bar by root over sigma1 square by n1 plus a sigma2 square by n2 see this is usually the standard uh, test the statistics formula here. If mu1 is equal to mu2, see, then if the standard deviation is same, see, if standard deviation sigma1 square is equal to sigma2 square is equal to sigma square. So, if this is same, then we have to change this form as x1 square minus x2 square by sigma square by n1 plus a sigma square by n2. If you take sigma square common from the root, it will be x1 square, x1 bar minus x2 bar by sigma times of root over 1 by n1 square plus n2 square. So, these three are very important. When standard deviation 1 and standard deviation are different, we have to choose this one. If they are same, we have to choose this one. So here the rejection rules also is very important. So the rejection rules, if sigma square is equal to, if S1 and S2 are given, then sigma square can be found using this formula that is N1 S1 square plus N2 S2 square by N1 plus N2. So this is also very, very important. And the rejection rules here, if the calculated value is greater than 1.96 then we have to reject at 5% level of significance so it means that at 5% level of significance z alpha by 2 value will be 1.96 see here if calculated value is greater than 2.58 reject h naught at 1% level of significance so clearly at 1% level of significance z alpha by 2 will be 2.58 and next one if calculated value is greater than 1.645, reject H0 at 10% level of significance. Clearly, at 10% level of significance, Z alpha by 2 value is equal to 1.645. So, this is the uh, table which you have to remember at 5%, 1%, and 10% level of significance. See, if mod Z is greater than 3, then either the samples have not been drawn from the same population or the sampling is not simple. So, these, these are the working rules. That is, first one is null hypothesis, alternate hypothesis, level of significance, test statistics, and last one is the conclusion. So, here is an important question. Write the formula for testing the hypothesis concerning two means. If two means are given, so we have to 
write the formula for testing of hypothesis here is a solution this is also very important so this is also asked if x1 bar be the mean of the random sample so x1 bar is the mean of the random sample size n1 drawn from a population with the mean mu1 and the variance sigma 1 square if x2 bar be the mean of the independent random sample of size n2 drawn from an another population with the mean mu2 with the variance sigma 2 square to test the hypothesis for difference of means the statistics is given by z is equal to see here this is z is equal to mod z1 bar minus z2 bar by root over sigma 1 square by n1 plus a sigma 2 square by n2 see here if mod z is less than 1.96 it is accepted that the samples have come from the two populations with the same mean at 5 percent level of significance otherwise at this level of significance we claim the differences in the mean is a significant so this is the question and this is the solution please follow this video for better results so if you know the working rule that is five steps null hypothesis alternate hypothesis level of significance test statistics and the conclusion definitely you can solve any problem and i'll be uploading few problems most important problems in my upcoming video don't miss that video also if you really like this video please pass it on to as many friends as you can that is the greatest help needed to this channel and thank you for staying till the end